Going to this year's Olympics, there are a lot of storylines going into it. With it being delayed a year, you know the process of making it to the Olympics. If you were an athlete now, how tough would it be to think you're going to the Olympics a couple of months before it gets canceled, postponed a year later? What is that reset like to, in order to set your mind, say, okay, now I have another year until I compete at the Olympics? Now that I'm on the outside looking in, it's, it's incredibly... Um, it can be disheartening. It can be uh, tough because there are literally some people who are older, maybe 28, 30. This is their last shot. And they don't have another year to hang on. Someone who's younger who needed another year, now they have the advantage. But you're not going to make it if you're not mentally tough. doesn't matter what the obstacle is. Back in the day, it didn't matter what it was. You find a way to get over it. And if you're going to be an Olympian, that's what they do. And so, yeah, whatever obstacle they think, you know, having your hopes and then disappointed, you got to get over it, move to the next step. Everybody has the same obstacle. So you can't really use that as an excuse when everybody else is facing the same circumstances. And so while it's incredibly difficult, disheartening, disappointing, um, if that's your goal, doesn't matter. Do what you need to do. Make your adjustments and get in there and go out there and be an Olympian. Now that you did live through the Olympics twice and you know what it's like to be there, now you're on the outside looking in. What's it like for you to watch the Olympics now? Are you relaxed at home on the couch? Do you get nervous? What are those emotions like when you watch? It sucks. I need to be there again. You know, one of the things that made me great is my incredibly drive and my ability to think that I'm a champion. I still feel that way, but the body is gone. <laughs> so when you're watching, you just think, man, I could have did that, you know, and you still think you can do that, but wisdom says don't no. try it. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's hard watching those events because you want to be there, you want to compete, and I never want a gold medal. I had a lot of success, but the goal wasn't to be second or third. The goal was to win. So you're watching and thinking, man, you know, I should have won. But I do get to enjoy it now. It took a little while, but I do get to enjoy it. I'm, I'm watching uh, uh, this year Javon Harrison at LSU was jumping at my record, and it was incredibly exciting. So I'm so excited for him and all the high jumpers. Uh, I get real pumped up for the jumps. High jump, long jump, triple jump. That's where my heart is. I watch the other stuff, but they're just in the way for the jumps. You know, I'm like, get out the track so we could jump. It's fun, you know, to watch and to see the success and, and to know that the smiles on their face are sincere and what that feels like, but also to see the disappointment and the hurt and pain. You, you kind of feel, you live vicariously through that, and you just go through this range of emotions, and then when you turn the TV off, you realize you're drained, and you're like, I was just sitting here on my couch. I know you're a proud Olympian. I know you carry your medals with you really wherever you go, but what does it mean? mean to be an Olympic athlete? You don't know what it's like until you experience it. You know, walking into that stadium under the banner and under the Olympic model and Olympic theme and, and that camaraderie and then realize how hard it is to get there. Um, incredibly proud, um, excited, um, disappointed still a little. That <laughs> doesn't go away. Um, but understanding how hard it is, you're probably very appreciative that God allowed me to experience something like that. And But most of all, how that can be used to inspire someone else to open up dreams and to make this world a better place. There's lots of news and lots of things that's kind of disheartening today. Um, the Olympics brings a sense of unity, a sense of camaraderie, a sense of joy and excitement and accomplishment that's not easily accomplished. And so uh, it's just a whole range of emotions. But if you use it the right way, it can make this world a better place. And that's what being an Olympian is all about.